Look, I thought about it. I spoke with Sadat. Who's Sadat? He's a friend of mine from high school. I called him this morning. He's been there for two years. He said we could stay with him. So we're going to stay with somebody that I don't even know? Sadat is like a brother to me. I know that we won't be that comfortable there, but at least till I get a job. Do you job. even realize what you're saying? You're telling us to quit everything and start all over again from the beginning. How could we do that? But Anna... I can't go, Kareem. I work here. I look after my mother and my sister. How could I even go there? We'll find new jobs. A tennis teacher like you will get hired easily. And I... I'll just work wherever I can. We'll get a place of our own and send money to our mothers. What'll happen to your mother? She'll be fine with her sister. I'm sure of it. <sighs> Later we can take her with us. You think it's that easy to run away? Well, we can't stay here. That guy's going to kill me. And not just me, you too. Didn't you see that video he sent me yesterday? He's a real psycho. Then we'll just pay off the debt. Running away isn't the answer. We saw what happened to your plans. Listen to me, please, Anna. Neither of us has a future here. And there's no reason to stay here and suffer. I can't go, Kareem. I can't leave my family. All right, so then we'll take them with us. Oh, that's perfect. We'll have a small place and live there with your mother and my mother and sister, all of us together. I can't believe you seriously think any of this will work. These are just romantic dreams. But let me tell you what the reality is. We'll be miserable. And I don't want to live like that. I don't want to run and hide and suffer. You're right. A luxurious life is more important than anything. It's even more important than I am. And it's definitely more important than our relationship. Don't be ridiculous, Kareem. I would never think that. Try and be sensible. We'll figure this out. Hello? Who's this? It's me, Natalia. I need to speak with you. Can you come over? You mean to your office? Yes, I'll be waiting. Celine, long time no see. How have you been doing lately? You don't sound very well. Would you like to meet up and talk for a bit? We can have breakfast and catch up. That sounds good. Uh, I don't have a lot of time, but I can meet you in an hour. I'll see you.
I told you. Rachel isn't doing well. She's gone completely nuts since her poor husband passed away. She talks all the time. She talks and talks nonstop. She went in and she's been there for two hours. Uh -huh. It's my fault for listening to you. Huh? She's out. Go on, Miriam, go in. So then, how did it go? How are you? Oh, my dear. Oh, you're under a very dark cloud. Your life is very, very distressed. Oh, you're telling me. <sighs> my, look at this. What's getting you down? I'm having trouble with my daughters. Oh, yes, I can see that. You have three daughters, am I right? No, just two. The older one is beautiful. Wise and beautiful like her mother. But she doesn't use her wisdom, and she's constantly upsetting you. She causes you pain. You don't even understand. Does she have a boyfriend? She does, and he's a real loser. He is. I can see it in here, too. He's no good at all for her. Well, uh, if you hex people as well, could you do something to separate them? My mm. daughter has many suitors after her. And there's this one guy who's so rich. But first we need to separate her from the loser. Don't you even worry, my dear. I can bewitch a glass of water for you and prepare some talismans. But I have to let you know that it's going to cost you. Ah, uh, I imagined. Okay, I'll give you whatever you desire. Just make sure that you separate them. Then consider them separated. Ken? Aiden, I really need to talk to you.